Hi and welcome back to a new video. On my table I have the RTX 5090 Astral and recently we tested the 5080 Astral and the conclusion was that the card was simply way too loud, especially for its price and also for its design. It had so much headroom in terms of thermals and we also manually adjusted the fan curve to make it a lot better than it was just in the stock condition. The P mode, performance mode, way too loud, also the Q mode was nothing like quiet, but now ASUS released a new BIOS for both 5080 Astral and also 5090 Astral and I now want to take the chance to test this with the 5090 and see if it got any better because otherwise, you know, looking at the price of these cards, that was simply not acceptable. The Seasonic Prime PX2200 is currently one of the strongest PSUs available and it comes with two native PCIe 5.1 connectors which allow us to even hook up natively to RTX 5090. That is perfect for any overclocking system or high-end workstations. I'm also currently running this PSU and so far I'm really satisfied with its quality and performance. The cables are very flexible, there are also cable comps included and in addition also a 90 degree ATX 24 pin adapter which also functions as a PSU tester at the same time. The fan is semi-passive and even at a high load it is still very quiet. Find all information about this PSU in the link in the description. In the first video I explained how the fans are working together and how you can manually adjust the fan fan curves. So we saw that the left fan and the right fan were working together combined and also the middle fan and the rear fan, while the rear fan was the main source for the annoying noise that was generated. And we also showed that it would be like perfect to run the rear fan at maybe 500 to 600 RPM, while the front fans can just spin a little bit faster and the thermals would then be pretty nice and also the noise level was great. Now, I was in contact with an ASUS engineer to give all this feedback to him to explain exactly what I was doing and what I would personally expect. I'm not sure what the result was, but that's what I want to find out. So you can download this file on the ASUS website and that's what we will do now. The card is now running 15 minutes in 3D Mark Speedway, just so we get some comparison numbers first, because I only tested the 5080 so far and not the 5090. I also switched it to the Q mode, so the BIOS switch, which you can see here stock condition was the P mode, but it, this is also an older sample. So P mode on the left, Q mode on the right. I also raised my opinion to ASUS and said that the stock condition should always be the Q mode. That is similar to what MSI is doing and they're doing it, at least in my opinion, correctly, that the card is always shipped in the silent mode. Honestly, you're losing like one or like 2% of performance, but it's so much more quiet, which I think will just give the average user a better experience than running the P mode. Like, would you notice 1% difference? I'm not quite sure, but you would certainly notice a difference if your fan is running like twice the speed. I asked ASUS about this if they could stock ship in Q mode, but I didn't hear back about this detail yet. Temperature and everything is now stable, 68 on the GPU, 86 on the memory, and we see on both fans about 1340 RPM, so for both fan speed 1 and for fan speed 2. And in GPU tweak 3, we can see that the fan speed 2 is basically also combined here as center and rear. Great, I also just noticed this. I mean, it's a, it's a great feature to have, you know, exactly for this, this reason. I'm not sure why this always happens. I just plug the cable in normally and I already have an uneven current distribution, which is, at least for my personal opinion, not in a concerning state. Like, I mean, this is just above 9 amps, why it's probably red, because I think 9 amps is exactly the spec for this pin. But, yeah, why, why, just why? It's still such an annoying topic. I just measured also the noise level on this card from 20 centimeters distance in the Q mode exactly 45 decibels, which is a little bit less than on the 5080 because the 5080 was running a higher fan speed. The 5080 is a little bit more difficult to cool, which sounds odd considering that it's less heat that you have to dissipate, but the 5080 has a higher power density on the chip, so the chip is not as easy to cool as the 5090. And that's at least my assumption why on the 5080 we saw higher fan speeds. Talking about the fan speeds, what I found odd is in general the decision to connect the center fan and the rear fan. They are physically different, you know, it's like all the three fans in front are the same and the rear fan 
is different. So why would you not just connect the three fans in the front and then have the, the rear fan as fan two? That would be the obvious choice. Seemed kind of odd and they also explained to me that it's probably quite difficult to change it afterwards. Let's see what I changed. I also just noticed that there is a huge gap in the temperature reporting between what you see in GPU tweak and also what you see in GPU-C. So we see about 86 degrees Celsius in GPU-C while we see something below 70 and slightly above 70 in GPU tweak. That is quite a big difference, like 15 degrees Celsius or like 10 to 15. I think these values are reported by a small thermistor on the PCB while this might be from the memory chip directly. Not sure. If you have more info, please let me know. The BIOS update tool you can simply find on the ASUS website. And there we find default quiet mode and new quiet mode interesting. So I guess we tried a new one. Update completed. That looks good. I just also noticed that you can even see a difference in idle while the difference is a lot smaller. I see about 0.3 amps from pin 1 to 3 and 0.4 amps from pin 5 to 6. The temperature is again stable. We see about 73 on the GPU, which is about 5 degrees Celsius warmer and about 4 degrees Celsius warmer on the memory. We see the main change is about 200 RPM lower fan speed on both fan 1 and fan 2. Honestly, I'm not fully happy how this is executed because currently the fans are just running synchronized at a lower fan speed while the rear fan is still the bigger problem. And there is still room for improvement, which I want to show you, but it's already a lot better, like a lot better. It dropped from 45 decibels to 40.3 decibels. This is really quick and dirty. I didn't test this to detail. I simply did a quick adjust fan left and right. So fan one is 52% fixed and center and rear, which is fan two now fixed to 43. Fan one is thus running at about 1400 RPM and fan two at about 1000 RPM. It even dropped the GPU temperature a little bit. With a different setting to my camera, so that's a different shutter speed, you can also clearly see that the center fan is spinning slower than the left and the right fan. The problem here is that it's not just about decibels. This is a huge improvement, don't get me wrong. This is in a state now that I would personally use it. Prior to that, no way, it was just way too loud, especially in the P mode, in the Q mode, it was still too loud. But it's not just about the decibels, it's about how the fan sounds. And I'm, yeah, I don't have the equipment to show probably some kind of frequency difference or what, I don't know, the fan is causing. I can just tell you that it's an annoying fan the way it is built. And that I personally expected a bit more, even though this kind of fixes the problem now, I still expect it more. Just to be honest, if I can within five minutes still find a way to improve it by just, you know, increase the left and right fan and lower the center and the rear fan, then I would also expect the same thing from Asus. You know, they, I mean, they made this. They should know it better than I do and they should be even quicker in, you know, optimizing this. And I think, yeah, it is at least in a usable state now. But if you have the card, I think you can still get quite a bit more out of this by just manually setting the fan curve and have even less noise than before. It's meanwhile one and a half weeks later, I forwarded all the information and feedback from this video to ASUS again and asked them about the P mode, Q mode and also about the fan curves. And I said, currently all the cards that are being shipped are still in P mode because they're already made. But for the future, they said that high-end cards should be shipped with Q mode, but I'm not sure at which stage this is going to be. And they also said they will try to further improve the fan curve and I will try to put pressure on ASUS that they actually do it because yeah, this was not ex executed perfectly enough for my taste. All right, thanks for tuning in, see you next time, bye bye.